Good morning, Print Fam. Happy Wednesday. My name's Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. Yesterday I mentioned that I needed to do some trifolds, so I pulled up the artwork, but it's missing some stuff. So I sent an email to Penji saying, hey, I need the font files, I need the embedded images, or I need the images embedded. Now I gotta wait. So hopefully they'll get back to me today and we can get that going. Algies are still in full force, so I might sneeze. I don't have Corobo. Other than that, today's looking actually pretty good. We got everything done for Bob yesterday that was due. Hopefully he comes and actually gets it, takes it to his customer, because he marked that it was due and it's done. Um, I really don't have much to do, so we are likely going to run Bach, even though I usually try to avoid running Bach. And then we're probably going to make some stickers. Uh, we do have a few shirts we could also do. Um, so we might end up doing those just depending on where we get. So that's what we're doing. Let's have some fun. So I got to swap out a thread color. So I tied a knot onto it, pulled it through. Now I'm going to chop off the old color and I keep a garbage can right next to the embroidery machine so everything goes in the garbage and then thread this through the needle but I don't put it through the bottom foot. Now I take my tension gauge which I'll have links to these down in the description. This is a must-have for embroidery work. For my specific machine, I set it to 150 or thereabouts. And I have a video explaining how to use this as well that I'll put in the description. The tension looks good. If the tension is not good, then you run into problems. Like yesterday or the day before when I was doing them for Bob, I thought I had said it right, but I had not, so it was too high, and it was causing issues. So make sure the tension is correct, and things go a lot better. So now that this is prepped, I'm going to turn the machine on, oil it up, and then we're gonna do a sew out, send it to the customer, make sure they're happy because I'm not gonna sew out seven hats to have them find out, oh, I don't like it, or I don't like the color you picked, or what have you. Oiling my machine is pretty simple. There's two spots on the arm, one spot on the head, and then you gotta do in here in the bobbin cage. You're supposed to do it every four hours or every time you turn the machine on. Definitely have never run my machine for four hours, so I don't have that problem. My bobbin was almost empty, so rather than run out part way through, I'm just gonna put a new one on. spots to oil up and it will be good for the show out.
crap is going on? I'm gonna have to move you. Sorry, guys. I'm getting angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Like 12 times the charm. Harper fam, the last hat, whoa, the last hat just finished. Um, I think there were seven total. It took about 10 minutes a piece to run. I had issues with a few of them, but all is well. While those were running, I printed a few stickers with some names on them, did some heat transfer, and I really need to replace the blade, but my blade is MIA. I ordered it, but I ordered it almost 10 days ago. So I called them to see where it is and they're, they're looking and gonna call me back. So uh, other than that, I just got a new order for some business cards. Thank you, Cam, for the referral, appreciate it. Um, just gonna get those printed and well, I'm waiting to get a, sw a slight change to the artwork. They did not embed the images so um, yeah they're gonna fix that cam's texting me right now about the <laughs> the referral it's for a giveaway and I was like I'm just gonna print my name on all of them and then I was like well, you want yours on half of them so <laughs> anyway um, so good times it's 2:30. So hopefully we can get a few more things done. Bob was actually here earlier. I didn't mention that. He picked up all his things and was going to make some deliveries. I've got to run to the post office, see if there's any more checks, and then go do a few little errands myself, try to get some more business. So all with the day. All right, so I'm printing some eight and a half by five and a half. And you can see here on the edge, the trailing edge is not fusing properly. And the front, part looks fine but basically what happens when it flips it and fuses it's called like the trailing edge and I've tried messing with the advanced settings and I had the tech come over and try to help me and it's just this specific paper it doesn't like so to fix it because the other side is white on the edge I printed the back first and the front last so that way I printed the black flipped it and then printed the white side that way I don't have that kind of weird banding issue. I'm sure the whole postcard, but they don't want to be known. So, sorry, phone call. Anyway, definitely a little trick. Try flipping the pages if you have an issue with that, like I did. All right, fam. we're in the pickup truck. Sorry, it's noisy and bumpy, but I got an email from my screen printer saying, hey, your shirts are ready so I'm gonna go get them because my customer messaged me today I was like when are the shirts gonna be done and I said Friday afternoon ish because that's when they're supposed to be done and now I'm gonna be able to go to them today and say 
Hey, your shirts are done. Give me my money. Because I'm poor. So, it'll be good. It's exceeding their expectation and they'll be really happy about it. So, it is 3.45. They close at 4. I'm about five, six minutes away. Hopefully they did not leave early. At the same time, my customer is right next door to them, and I'm gonna drop off some postcards that I got about an hour ago, so good timing. On with the day. All right, back from picking up the shirts. I made it. We got Cam's referral printing in the other room. It is just about finished. Um, they're gonna pick it up tomorrow or Friday. I'm not sure yet. But it's been a really productive day. I didn't get much footage of it, so I'm sorry. Um, but I'm feeling good about today. I got my business card reprinted. I put her name on here twice. Oops. So, resending that out. And then, uh, um, had a couple of cash orders for some stickers and some heat transfers, and it's been a good little day. So. I'm going to do a few more things, and I just got an order for a shirt, so probably the shirt is due tomorrow. It's two shirts, so we might end up doing it tonight, so we'll see how that goes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've stepped up, whoa, I've stepped up my shipping game. I'm tired of cutting out labels from my printer paper, so I bought a Rolo. Let's open it up and take a look-see. I ordered this on Amazon forever ago and they lost it. And magically it showed up today. So, a better way to print. If you have questions, save on shipping. Tips. Uh, alcohol wipes for cleaning, and then looks like instructions. Guessing this is the power brick. Use the Mickey Mouse plug. It even came with a USB cable. It's USB A to B. That's what most printers are in It's so tiny. So, looks like a test print or something. All right, well. Let's get it hooked up. All right, got it right here on top of the printer for right now. It's probably not where it's gonna live forever, but let's see if it at least works. All right, print fam. I'm not a huge fan of the Rolo printer. I probably can't suggest it. I'd say stick to a zebra. Or, I think Brother just came out with one. I'll link it down in the description. It's the same price as this Rolo. So, I don't recommend it. Oh well. It'll be fine. If anything, I'll give it to my wife and she can use it for her eBay packages. I'm a little disappointed. I guess the main reason why I don't like it is because, like, the tiny text is really hard to read. 
Then I increased the density to 15, which is the highest it will do. It's still not that great. You can read it, but it's pixelated. It's not good. It's horrible compared to just a piece of paper and the laser printer. But it'll do for now. But I don't recommend it. I might call it a night. I might be back. So maybe maybe stick around to the end. But if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., you know what to do. Thanks, Cam. Not only for the referral today, but for editing the video. I appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. Thank you, as always, for being here. We appreciate you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. We'll see you next time, Prime Fam. Whoosh. Guess what, Prime Fam? I'm working again. I'm actually doing some white toner shirts. I've got this orange and pink shirt that I gotta make for one of my business customers. They want it personally, and they want it tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get it done now. And because there's extra room on the white toner sheet, um, I've got a hat order that's coming down the line. So I'm gonna print some of those, as well as I made I mean, these Baby Yoda stickers. So I thought it'd be fun to make a shirt too. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Time lapse time. So we are getting ready to print the white toner stuff. But if you look here, you can see some spotting in the solid colors. And I was on the, well, there's like five white toner Facebook groups. One of them, I don't remember which, someone said something about, I had that issue and I ran some plain paper through and it fixed it. But they thought it was just kind of a toner buildup or something. So I have some plain white, brain fart, plain white paper, just plain paper in the printer. We're gonna print a couple of sheets of this. Then we're gonna print a transfer to see if the spotting goes away. It's most noticeable in dark colors. 
Can't see it in white, but if it solves the problem, I'll be a happy man. Then I won't be so hangry. Let's try it. Join me. I'm just gonna click print. Now we're just, we're gonna wait. Doesn't look like there's any spotting. Let's print another one. The iColor 800 is faster. If you're trying to think of a reason to buy the 800. Let's get some transfer sheets. Move my, my table out of the way. Someday I'll be clean and organized. That day is not today. At least I know where they are. We're just going to do one. Overall, I need two shirts. Also, if you guys ever notice my hair gets messed up later on in the day, that means I put my kids to bed. My three-year-old likes to lay with me in bed and play with my hair until she falls asleep. Then I put her in her bed. And then usually about two or three in the morning, she comes back in my room, plays with my hair until she falls asleep. I take her back into her room and sometimes she comes back, but usually she stays. Well, most of the spotting is gone, but there still are just a few. I don't know if I'll be able to get them to show up. should look quite nice on the pink and orange shirt. We're gonna print another one. All right, shirts are done. It's now officially time to call it a night. So I already gave my spiel. We did get a new patron today. Jimmy, thanks for signing up. Appreciate you. Appreciate everyone else as well. Um, there's just extra perks and secret videos and stuff like that that you get you can join if you'd like there's a link in the description or it's patreon.com forward slash ttms <coughs> not corona allergies so the one thing i wanted to say is while you were watching the time lapse you may have seen me try to cool down the craft paper before i peeled it off the second peel that's because, for whatever reason, it's getting too hot and it won't release like it normally does where you can just kind of pick it up. So if you kind of cool it down or wait for a minute, then when you peel it, it doesn't pull the graphic with it. Versus if you do it too quick or when it's too hot, then the graphic comes off the shirt, which I was running into the other day. I don't know, like at first I thought it was because my craft paper was old or this, that, or the other. I'm not sure. So usually I try to lift it up if it doesn't come or if it does come and it peels off the graphic, I try to lay it back down, reapply it, but I try to just cool it down and make sure it's all good. So thanks for watching Print Fan, and we'll see you tomorrow. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.